Hello, this is the hoof bag here and uh, lots of these expired light bulbs are thrown away and although they don't work for the purposes of making in your uh, house uh, you're able to see things in the dark if you like um, they, can, they are useful for the components inside so with gloves safety always top priority so we have to break this bit get rid of it okay so we've got a box got a hammer here we go get rid of the glass get rid of that and you these are very sharp so be very careful um, anyway inside let's get cutting open now if you've got a dremel it'd be much easier obviously but one thing you can't get away with you do need a vice and a hacksaw so it's kind of a tear down really but on a budget a tear down front right <laughs> indeed nearly there it's had percussive maintenance already isn't it had some percussive maintenance already have you got your safety shoes on nah okay. right, let's get shot of that bit that with the glass goes in the box safety first don't forget right now we have the printed circuit now you get a screwdriver and lift that out and see what we've got inside. Okay, we've got a 400 volt 2.7 microfarad capacitor. Inside there, there's also four diodes um, and they're usually 1N4007 that are capable of 1000 volts PIV, peak inverse voltage, perfectly good for most applications. Okay, now we've got a um, 400 volt, 2.7 microfarad capacitor. Now let's remember that 400 volts is enough for quite a few applications, even in valve circuits. 2.7 microfarads may not seem to be very much, but don't forget you can put a load of these in parallel and you can end up with, well, quite a high value capacitor. Right, now we're going to attempt. Now, I could just cut the leads, but that lead will end up making up with small leads which you don't want you want to give maximum lead length for the, to make the capacitor as most as, as useful as possible now what we do is we unsolder these just by prodding around in various areas good hot soldering iron that's one lead just took out there. okay anyone might wonder what the ticking noise is it's actually um a timer it's not a bomb no it's a timer that is taken out of an old um, um, cooking in implement and what happens is I used to have a habit of leaving my soldering iron on and of course that's not possible now because the solder is that okay now we've got these little um, sleeves always keep those because they're heat resistant and of course um, we can also remove the diodes in the same way okay that's it for hoof bag easy um, retrieval of components out of a low energy light bulb so get unsoldering people thank you for watching